Hello and welcome back to the vlog. Today we're going to be playing Frimley Green. We've got a few new signings and we've got a few players coming back from injury. So let's get down to the ground. Yeah, happy. You know, the squad's taking a little bit more shape. Um, boys that come in, you know, will add to what we've got going forward. They'll bring a lot of pace to the side. And I hope they're a lot of goals as well. Tom's back today from injury. Uh, Max Meehan um, is back available today. Um, KJ is available and Jewel Reds from Bracknell today. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, all, it's all positive. I think you can't really take um, positions in, in this league. It's, it's, it's on the day. Um, just look at Banstead last week. I think it's going to be exactly the same game. Um, they're going to come out and they're going to give it their all. And it'll be down to us to to break them down and, and beat them. They've got to perform. I think the squad now is, you know, is, is getting bigger. And um, if, if they, for some reason, turn up and not perform today, they, they put themselves in massive doubt for next week. And we've got some state next week being, like you say, a derby and that top of the table, the big crowd expected. Um, that's they should want to be playing, you know, and we'll uh, talk about that in, in there as we go on. I think it's about us today, expectations are on us. I think it's, uh, and rightly so, I think it's uh, a time for the boys to uh, turn up and try and enjoy today. The squad looks really, really strong. Obviously, we've got a few out still ready to come back. And but, oh, oh, in general, everyone's place is up for grabs. So for us, it's, uh, it's a chance for the boys today then to sort of cement their places in the squad for, for pretty much the rest of the season, really. But it's a healthy squad and a healthy competition for us is, is good, is, is a good thing. Excellent warm up, boys. Oi. Excellent warm up, well done. Well, we start out the blocks today. No excuses today, we're going to enjoy it. You mentioned it yourselves, yeah, of going out the blocks, getting the job done. Right, this, it can go horribly wrong. If you're underestimating it, yeah, it can go horribly wrong. Right, and then you have to work your bollocks off to make it right. Work your bollocks off from the start and get it right from the start. Last week, the warm up was terrible, yeah, and the performance was terrible in the first half. Today, we go out on a limb. I think it's good today. Yeah, I think it was good and there's a buzz about it. Take that and go and do it from the start. Yeah, let's get it done. Good. Well done. Let's go, boys. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Tommy. Farnham Town were looking for back-to-back -back wins in front of an expectant Memorial Ground crowd as they took on bottom of the league side, Frimley Green. New signing Shamal Edwards was thrust straight into action. His cross nearly finding its way into the back of the net early on. Chances kept coming for Farnham. Owen Dean playing a nice ball through to Lewis Flatman, who couldn't quite apply the finish. Oh, he's got to finish that. Liam Harris was then forced into a save from a long range free kick. This was before Lewis Flatman again got on the ball and tried to break the deadlock, but his shot was comfortably saved by the friendly stopper. The visitors then took a shock lead. A long boot forward wasn't dealt with and an early strike caught the keeper out. Frimley Green were ahead, albeit against the run of play. The town responded relatively well. Owen Dean's effort nearly finding Flatman to poke home an equaliser. Farnham had one final chance before the half, but couldn't convert. It's laughable, isn't it? Isn't it really? You know, we ain't been good enough up top uh, in terms of finishing, but I think we've worked the ball well enough. You know, at the back, I'd, it's not even. I'm not even going to go there because I think you just have to listen to the last recordings over the last three, four, five, fucking six weeks. I, I don't even know what to say anymore in terms of individual errors, mate. I, I, I don't know what to say anymore. I, all I can do is laugh. Otherwise, I'm going to go mental. That is not good enough for our standards, chaps, at all. You know, we're letting them down out there massively. Massively. But do not get on each other's cases and start pointing the blame. Make sure you're working back, yeah, and you're running back, and you're running back hard, because that sets the tone. Because at the minute, at one stage, I'd four up front when they was attacking, and you're thinking, oh, fucking hell, it's someone else's fault, it's someone else's fault. No, take responsibility and go out there and turn it around, which you should do comfortably, and show like you want us to turn it around. Do I make myself clear? Yeah. 
Yeah, good. The second half started, and despite a brilliant save by Liam Harris, it was much of the same. Farnham dominated the ball for large parts, but couldn't quite find the back of the net. Tom Smith's cross wasn't dealt with by the keeper, but Owen Dean couldn't make the most of it. It was looking like a frustrating day at the office for the town, something they've had a lot of this season at home. Max Meaton's cross set up La Marca Roma for a great chance of his head, but the captain on the day couldn't level proceedings. Chances kept coming through Farnham's added pace in the side, but the finishing touch was just missing on the day. Flatman then tried again from distance, but it was looking like a shock result was on the cards. The ball nearly crossed the line shortly after, but Frimley Green's keeper was a man possessed, making a number of crucial saves and winning the game's man of the match award. Farnham still had time to miss yet another chance at the end of the game, which was perhaps the biggest of the lot. The town had enough chances to score seven or eight on the day, but in the end, it was another embarrassing defeat at home. Paul Johnson's men have to pick themselves up quickly as they next face high-flying rivals Badshot Lee in a huge derby game at the Memorial Ground this Saturday. Whoever turned up and thought you could just turn up and win a game of football? How wrong are you? But there weren't no oomph in it, there weren't no drive in it, there weren't no f come on, let's go again. It's all just accepted again. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Don't be going home till six o'clock. Do not be going home till six o'clock. I don't care what you got on. Tell them you're going to be late. Just go in there and show your face. Everyone. Final nil, friendly one. What do you make of, of that? Uh, still trying to work it out myself. Um, it's you get those results from time to time and this happened today. Um, credit to Frimley, they've won the game. Um, I think they had three shots in the old game. They potentially could have scored two of them, but um, we had chance after chance. And we just didn't, didn't take any of them. Th these results should not happen, but it has. How now looking ahead uh, to, to Bagshot Lee here next Saturday? Yeah. Um, obviously there'll be plenty to work on that training ground on Thursday, but how, how do you sort of Dust yourself down after after today, uh, and, and get yourself g'd up for, for next week. Yeah, I think you just got to let this one settle, um, sulk tomorrow, um, then get over it Monday. Look forward to Bagshot Lee Saturday. Um, I think the tempo of the game and everything will be on the game, um, and it might it might be a little bit like it was for them today. You know, that top of the table, or at the top of the table, and we want to spoil that. Bad day at the office. Uh, plenty of chances for Farnham in the end, really, after going behind in the first half, but um, Frimley were, were uh, a match for everything, really, today. Um, I'm sure Jono and, and the players are, are reconvening now and going through where, where things went wrong today, but um, look, results have been positive of late. Um, three wins in the, in the previous five before today. Um, so going into Bagshot Lee next week, um, a, a big local derby. Um, we're expecting a big crowd down here, plenty of, of the local schools, uh, the Farnham youth teams and obviously away fans coming down as well. So um, looking forward to that and let's, let's hopefully bounce back next week with a better performance. Yeah.